In this video, I'll show you how to set logic to questions and pages inside of your workflow. That's going to be really helpful to determine what information, whether questions, pages, or informational blocks, your user sees on the screen. So on this particular page, I've set up two questions already. The second question is, what is your marital status? I gave it a variable name, marital status, and the question type is a single select, which means they can only choose one of the choices. And I'll add one more choice here. So they have three choices, married, single, and divorced. Now, I want to add another question that asks the individual for their spouse's name. And I'll call it spouse name. But in this case, I only want the user to be able to see this question number three if question number two is answered married. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go over to the branching logic arrows right here. By default, you're always on the edit tab and you also have settings for each question to customize them further. But the logic tab is what's going to allow you to show or hide a question. So I'll go ahead and click show if. I'll choose the variable name. Marital status is married. And now when I run this workflow, if I say I'm married, this additional question is going to show up. If I say I'm single, it's going to close up. Now the same type of logic can be added to a page. So let's say I have another page with some question on it. I can actually add page logic up here by adding logic based on any other variable. And you can go very deep within your logic. You can either use the page logic or question logic tabs, or we'll show you how you can use invisible logic in a future video as well.